in this video we will discuss about how does thor chain works thor chain is a level 1 network based on the cosmos csdk and tendermint thor chain works as a cross chain permissionless decentralized exchange it also used threshold signature schemes to ensure its leaderless asset wallet tendermint and tss provide a layered benignant fault tolerance consequences mechanism and a two third majority consequences is required for funds to enter and exit the primary tss wallet there are four key types of users in the thor chain ecosystem swappers who use liquidity pools to swap assets liquidity providers who add liquidity to pools and earn rewards node operators who provide bonds and are paid to secure the systems traders who monitor and rebalance pools with the intention of making profits unlike other cross chain protocols thor chain doesn't swap assets before swapping <coughs> instead it uses native assets on thor chain to perform autonomous transparent asset swaps asset swaps are enabled by liquidity pools these pools are made up for assets contributed by liquidity providers and are secured by a work network of node operations liquidity providers deposit their assets in thor chains liquidity pools to earn yield made of swap free and system rewards anyone can add liquidity to an existing pool making thor chain permissionless in addition thor chain is non custodial because only the original depositor can withdraw the assets that they have deposited in the pool liquidity providers can also possess new assets pools provided these assets are tokens of a spotted chain in the ecosystem node operators called throw nodes are independent and communicate with each other to form a cross chain swapping network in exchange of securing the network they will receive rewards in the form of fee for every swap made before becoming a node operator a user has a provide a bound of run these bounds are held as collateral to ensure that node operators behave in the best interest of thor chain